Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. So we need to ask some questions. How are you living? Because there was a prescription for man. Oh my God. You know, Jesus was there when the idea of man was conceived in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. When the Bible says, let us make man. So, the making of man, not the creating of man, but the making of man was an act of God. The father did his part. The son did his part. And the spirit of God was supposed to do his part before the project was hijacked. Redemption was an act of God. The father did his part. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The God we are talking about here is the father that has a son. Are you there? He gave his son. From the father's perspective, it was an investment of love that costed him his son. From Jesus' perspective, he came to die so that he can fulfill the claims of divine justice. After the legal premise of man's salvation is satisfied, then the spirit of God comes to become the essence of his salvation. Because when Jesus was trying to define to us what it meant or to explain to us what it meant to be born again in the book of John chapter 3 verse 3 he said, Verily, verily I say unto you Except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God. And what he meant by that is that the spirit of God coming into your heart becomes the basis upon which your spiritual senses are activated so that you can perceive what is in God's realm, God's network. So the three members of the Godhead were part of redemption, they were part of creation, and they were part of the making of man. Exactly. If there's anybody that has a knowledge of how man should be, what man should be, who man should be, it was Jesus. And in a few places in scripture, he gave us insight into the blueprint for man. This is one of them. Man shall not live by bread alone. How shall man, what's the principle behind his living? Oh, you are not with me. The proceeding word of God. What Jesus was telling Satan was this. What will make me act is the proceeding word of God. My pride will not make me act. My need will not make me act. The fact that my flesh is crying for hunger is not enough reason for me to act. The man that was designed to walk the earth, he was only designed to respond to what? The proceeding word. If you got that, then I need to ask you a few questions. I need to ask you a few questions. If all of us in this room are Christians, which I believe we are. And you don't have a diary where you write the things that God told you. There's no documentation of the proceeding word of God for your life. <laughs> From God's perspective, you have not been living. You have not been living. You know, like I said, the, the message they gave me to preach is hard. I've, I've realized it. It's hard. But anybody that hears it will be delivered. I'm sure of that. People hate me because of the messages that I preach. Because if somebody decides to be fake, anytime he hears me, it's like a sentence. So he will fight. I, I know that. Somebody that is fake will not like me. And I'm not saying it boastfully. 
this is the role the Lord has me. Apart from this role, I don't have any other work. So I will remain where I am with his problems. The problems are also part of the work. Managing the problems that accompany this work is part of the work. Listen to me. Man shall not live by bread alone. He will live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. If you know anything about the military and a senior officer gives you a command, do this. He doesn't even need to explain because you are not supposed to survive by his explanations. Just his instruction. That's how man was created to operate. You are totally immobilized until there's a proceeding word of God. So you don't take a job because you have an opportunity. Maybe there are three jobs. You don't take a job because one pays more and it will put you in the heart of our crack so that you can access the amenities of. <laughs> what is the principle behind your living? What made you accept the job you are doing? You left the old one to accept this one. There was no consideration whether the purpose of God was hanging on it. It was because of the benefits, it was because of the pay, it was because of the, you know, <laughs> you stop living. Man, he said, shall not live by bread alone. I know you have forgotten. That call that God gave you that you, you cast away and then you enter into secular life. It was God's will for you never to have any secular experience. You cast it away. And because it seems you are doing financially well and you are able, capable of paying tight and you are doing your pastor a favor, you believe that that is a replacement for the possibility of God. It is when you come from this life and you are exposed to the kingdom of God in a naked way, you will find out that there's no substitute for obedience. God is not a prime minister. It, they don't, it's not by election that he, he, he rules. No. He's a monarch. He's a king. At the end of the day, he will ask, was my will carried out? Man shall not live by bread alone. He will live by the proceeding word of God. If I came with my diary, I would have shown you. The day God encountered me on the 25th of July, 2005. And he told me, raise a remnant for me in this generation. In August, we began implementing that plan. We didn't have details. Are you there? But we were implementing blindly. Thank God we had a heart to implement. We were beating about the bush for one year trying to fulfill God's will in Abuja. We started in Abuja. It was after one year and I said, this thing I asked you to do is not in Abuja. At least, at least, I was trying to fulfill something. That was when he told me that it's this thing you to start from, from a Kodi. Then they wanted to do posting in our, in our, our office. To places where there were depots. I said, if it's you that spoke to me, let my posting come out in the city you are sending me. People were lobbying. Ladies were ah, taking senior officers out so that their posting will come in good places. I was sitting and my name appeared where God sent me. When I got to that city, I took one year to pray and fast because of the previous mistake that I made. Is it time for us to start holding meetings for one year, fasting and praying? I go to work as hobby. My the real job I was doing was that assignment that brought me there. Because man, he shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. It was on 
We started the fast in March 2007. In January, I wanted to hold a meeting. He said, add 100 days to the fast. That's what took us to, to March. So the first meeting we held was in March. And from that day to today, it is what we hear that we did. What we hear. Many senior ministers had come to me and said, the way you are doing ministry, you'll be poor. This is not how they do ministry. You are going to be poor. Are you there? For a long time, people were not giving an offering. Because we wanted to make a point that we are not here for money. So you come, receive ministry, go. If you want to come tomorrow, you can come. They say, young man, you are going to be poor. So the job I was doing, I was using it to fund the ministry. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll pay for the bills. What we are doing is to create a service. A service where the counsel of God can go forth unbridled, naked, raw. So that if you intend to follow God, you will not find how to follow him. If you, if you, are, if you are entertained by what I'm doing, be coming for entertainment. Jesus said he wants a platform that will speak like this. We'll make it happen. It was eight years after the ministry started that people started giving. Think about it. You will know that the people doing that ministry, the only thing they were looking for was the voice of God. I didn't know that somebody could walk up to a preacher and give him a car because I was not looking for it. But I saw people give me cars. And when they gave me cars, I knew what God was saying. He was saying, now your ministry will require traveling. A car for me is not a status symbol. I was doing very well before I had one. Very well. And my wife loved me. In her eyes, I'm always a champion. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to win a battle to be a champion. After a while, the Lord began to invest grace. Began to invest grace. You see, now ministers in our city have insulted us for many years. That they were waiting for us to start fornicating. As young ministers normally do when they start ministry. They've waited till today. It has not happened. <laughs> Meanwhile, I started ministry as a single. And in our congregation, there were many more ladies than there were guys. There was none of them that I violated. No one. You must have heard my cry. That if there's any woman that I touched even before I gave my life to Christ or after or in ministry, you cry out anywhere you are and put me to your shame. Because there's so much field in what we call ministry today. And we are forgotten who we are serving. The God that dwells in the light that no man can approach unto. And the Bible says that light is that which makes manifest. So if you stand before God, if it is true, and your heart opens even half, and the light of God shines upon it, if there's darkness there, you will know because he will reveal it. He will reveal it and say, deal with it. Don't hide it. If you've been able to hide darkness, you've been able to hide it for five years. It means you left the courts of God long time ago. Man shall not live by bread alone. So humankind was designed to be propelled by the proceeding word of God. God comes and activates you and said, Behold your husband. That's the reason why you, are, you say yes. 
Are you there? The person may not meet up with your specifications. I was looking at my picture when I proposed to my wife. No woman should accept such a man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ah. my stomach was flat from fasting I was like an HIV victim but my spirit was anointed it was not only me that felt a woman should not follow me I don't want to tell you stories I don't. <laughs> the challenges that we went through This was the lady Goshen. It means that I, that doesn't mean we will not have trouble, but it means that when we have trouble, God will come. God will he will he uttered it so he he has a stake. He's a stakeholder in it. He will come and sort it out. He will come and help. How do you live? Where's the instruction that undergirds what you are doing with your life today? Where's the instruction? Don't get it wrong. It's a kingdom we belong to. And the voice of the king is what determines the difference between life and death. I said I will only do number one. So you can rise on your feet. What did they tell you? What was the errand they were sent to accomplish? What was the message you were sent to deliver? What was the assignment that was given unto you? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mount of God. If you are here tonight and you have not given your life to Christ and when you were listening to the voice of the preacher the Holy Spirit began to convict your heart. Began to convict your heart. And you want to respond to Jesus and say Lord I submit, I surrender save my soul i've been locking around church but i've not surrendered to you once upon a time i was full of fire but i, have, I know i have left your presence like cain i have backslid and i want to be restored if that is what you are saying your right hand on your chest and your left hand up right hand on your chest left hand up do not allow satan win the argument over your soul light hand on your chest left hand up if your left hand is up leave your seat come to the preacher here so that i can help you prepare your heart to address jesus if your hand is up come to the preacher by the pulpit here come to the preacher inside outside these are strange times we dwell in strange times if you are standing before the preacher, can you begin to address Jesus and ask him for mercy? Ask him for mercy. Ask him to forgive. Ask him to blot out rebellion, sin in your life. Talk to Jesus. Address Jesus. Please allow them to walk to the pulpit. It's a solemn moment. We come to register with Jesus. We register with Jesus. Have mercy. Don't speak in tongues. Confess that sin in your life. Confess it. That sin you have held on to. The filth that you have held on to. Confess it. Mention it to him. 
tell him the two abortions I committed. Help me. Have mercy. Don't cover it with tongues. Mention the rebellion. Mention it before him. Don't be ashamed. If you open up, he will shed light. He says, Awake, O thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. He will shed light. He will shed light. Ask him for mercy. You've lingered in compromise. Lingered in self-deception. But today you can welcome him and say, just look, up, look on me. Look on me. I am helpless. I am without strength before you. I repent. <laughs> repent before him. Talk to him, don't allow yourself to be distracted. It's a solemn moment.
Lord, they cry to you. Receive their cry. And purge away every sin. Receive them to yourself. Receive them to yourself. Receive them to yourself. Receive them to yourself, O oh God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Go back to your seat. Hello, people of God. You're welcome to Calvary Movies TV. I want us to pray, pray. This is a strange season. Love not the world or the things of the world. And what the world does is that it draws you away. Have you gained mileage away? Some things that you could not do before, you're at home with them right now. Want to take a trip in prayer back to the place of commitment to God? Want to take a trip and say, Lord, If we use some measurements, your prayer life, your commitment to the word of God, your, the way you live with your wife, the way you live with your husband, the way you live with your children, those are yardsticks that will show you how far you've migrated. Can we take a journey back to the place of commitment, a prayer journey, and say, Lord, give me all it takes to walk with you all the days of my life. Can we talk to him right now? Romendo così copesco pagano da parte Pisa me conte e so Thank <laughs> you. 
We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. All right, I, I will pray for the sick for the next 15 minutes after which. Because one of the things God told me this evening that he wants to do is that he wants to empower some people. There's an empowerment he wants to give to some people so that his agenda in the nation, in the territories, can prosper. Are you with me? Now, so if you brought someone that is sick, just follow the instructions. If the sickness has to do with an eye condition, just put your hands on your eyes. If it has to do with a hearing condition, take, remove your glasses and put your hands on your eyes like this. If it has to do with hearing, maybe one of your ears are blocked, is blocked, is deaf. Take this finger. If it's this ear, you block the ear that cannot hear. It can, it can be this. So block it. If there's someone that is paralyzed, maybe your hand or your leg is paralyzed. You use a walk and aid, a cane. Lay your hands on that leg that is paralyzed. There are people that God will empower. It's a unique empowerment, like a lifetime encounter that God will do this evening. You don't need to believe it for it to happen. But it's a lifetime encounter that God will give some people this evening. If you use a cane to walk because of paralysis, put your hand on the leg or the hand or anything that is paralyzed and we are going to pray together. Is there a strange pain that you've been carrying for many years? Maybe because of an accident you had or something? Put your hand where that pain is. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. And today, I bind every deafening spirit. Deafening spirits be bound. And come out of the ears in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every blinding spirit. Blinding spirit be bound. Come out of the eyes in the name of Jesus. I speak to every pain. Every affliction. Every migraine. Every pain on the leg. Pain on the waist. Pain on the back. I command it to dissolve, 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 dissolve and come out in the name of Jesus. I speak to ulcers, to asthmas. I arrest you in the name of Jesus. Let the ulcer bones, let the ulcer pains diminish. Oh, there's somebody having um, a situation of internal heat when the place is cold but you'll be sweating i break that yoke in the name of jesus christ someone in the congregation whose eyes are dying your prescription glasses are no longer helping you but today the blinding spirits are arrested and your sight restored in the name of jesus christ Every inability to sleep at night is arrested in the name of Jesus. Pains on the legs depart in the name of Jesus Christ. I confront paralysis in any form, in any fashion. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go in Jesus' name. Now I say to the eyes, eyes begin to see, begin to see. I say to the ears, begin to hear, begin to hear. I say to the pains, depart, 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 depart. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
let the yoke break in the name of Jesus Christ somebody walked into this place with a yoke you've been carrying this yoke for eight years so in the next 17 minutes 17 seconds it's gonna break whether you are sitting inside or you are sitting outside in 17 seconds that yoke that you came with eight years old the yoke breaks from off your life it breaks it breaks it breaks Uh, okay, now I can tell that the yoke is on a lady. Oshas, have you found that lady? It's on a lady. Father, let it break. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. Lose her. Oshas, you should be able to find where the lady is. Thank you, Father. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. So right now, I'd like you to conduct a check on your body. You have two minutes to do that. Two minutes to conduct that check on your body. If you notice there is a change, if there is a change, you found a lady? All right, so we'll do some deliverance. If there is a change, oh, you found, you found them. These are yokes. If you notice there's a change, this is where you're going to stand. And um, Pastor Odame will attend to you. But you have two minutes to run a check on your body. Two minutes to run a check on your body. I'm seeing a bright light. I'm seeing a bright light. There is a young minister, uh, at least younger than myself. I'm young compared to my elders here. So I should, yeah, yes, younger than myself. So there's a young minister that God is raising. This minister is in this western region. This minister is in this western region. Uh, unknown, but faithful. And part of what God wants to do today is to increase your capacity. If you notice that there is, there is a change in the situation, you go to where your pastor is. So the hand of God is on this minister. Maybe he's the one crying there. But if I see him, I will know if he's the one I'm talking about. Hidden but faithful. Hidden but faithful. Okay, I can see that. Like I was saying, if you notice there's a change, because I can see a woman that is healed on her eyes. If you notice there's a change, you come and stand where Pastor is. He will take your, your testimony. There are three young ladies in this meeting. These three young ladies have been interceding and Satan has been attacking them. Been interceding, interceding, and Satan has been attacking them. Part of what God wants to do is to increase their rank. So the hand of God will fall on these three young ladies. And it will fall with intensity. Because the Lord is attempting to, oh my God, oh my God. He's attempting to increase their rank in the spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, anywhere these ladies are sitting or standing, I ask that you arrest them. Let your, let your mighty hand fall on them. Let your hand fall on them. Let your hand fall on them. Let your hand fall on them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Begin afresh with them. Begin afresh with them. Increase their capacity. Increase their capacity. In the name of Jesus.
So if you notice, please, you may be seated. Pastor, what happened to him? So we have a four years ear condition. A four years ear condition. And uh, now, can I touch this one? This young man says he had a growth in the right ear. A growth in the right ear. Which made him not hear through the, that ear. He couldn't hear through that ear. Yes, so. For, for like four years? Four years. In a month ago, he saw you appear in his dream. He saw me appear in his dream. And you held his ear. And I held his ear. You prayed for him. Okay. Tonight, as the prayer was ongoing, mm. he could clearly hear through the he right ear. He could clearly ear. hear through the right ear. Oh. There's somebody I'm looking for. I'm searching diligently. So if you notice there's a chain. I'm seeing, I'm seeing someone that had a minor accident and I've been carrying pain for like three months that God has healed but the person has not reported here. So the Lord is empowering this young man. It's empowering that young man. of the demonic activities that have occurred in this territory is because of that altar that was raised. It was raised with human blood in this city. In this city. In this city. Now, I am waiting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray in one minute before I, pro I, I continue about that spot in this city. That altar that was raised with human blood in this city. Opening a gateway for demons to operate within this territory. Can we cause that altar? 
Can we curse that altar? Can we curse that altar? Can we curse that altar? Release the people of this land. Release the people of this city. Release them from the influence of this altar. It has been strengthened with human blood. It has been strengthened with human blood. Release the hand of God. Pray for your ministry now. Strengthen your servants in this season to take their places in the various locations that you have planted them. Let the flame of heaven that you have invested on their lives not be put out. We ask for a renewal of capacity, a renewal of grace, a renewal of the anointing, that your hand might become strong, that your hand might become strong, that your hand might become strong. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, have mercy on us. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Please, you may be seated. Yes, what happened there? Um, there's a condition of a severe ulcer. A severe ulcer. For three years. I'm waiting for a woman. A woman. Her eyes, her sight has improved. I'm waiting for that woman. So also? So he was in pain, severe pain. Okay. And I died command. He felt fire burning. He felt fire burning there. And the pain okay. has disappeared. Come, come. Let's, let's see. <laughs> the pain is on the waist. Pains on the back. Still waiting for that woman. Two women now. One is an eye condition. One is the pain on the waist, pain on the back. And you have suffered from this waist pain 
terrible pain for a long time. So I, I, I await these two women. Yes, what happened to that one? So he, he had a motor accident, motor accident, which affected his waist. Affected his waist. I remember you mentioned that, that case. Yes, so this is one. And then the other one is with a woman. He says he can't feel the pain he anymore. He can't feel the pain. Did you check it? Okay, come. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes? So back pain, severe back pain, severe back pain. for a month now. Severe back pain for and one month. And after the prayer, you, you the, pain the pain is gone. All right. Glory to God. We give you praise and glory. Praise and glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I have two prayer points I would like us to pray. Two prayer points I would like us to pray, but I'm... I want to give one minute to this these two women. After one minute, we we'll no longer have time for these two women. Daddy, the the accident issue is here. So um, she said that now, she was sometimes feeling. Sometimes I'm confused. Why? Then she was shy to come. Okay. Um. The, the arrangement the arrangement for somebody's death has been concluded you don't need to believe me the arrangement for someone's death has been concluded father in the name of Jesus and so ushers you help me with that person the arrangement I beheld a grave freshly dug whenever I see this vision I know that someone is about to die that is not supposed to die and part of what God has called me to do is to reverse that so um, where are the ushers how come this person is so far away Oh, Jesus. I'm saying another victim. This person stepped on, on charms meant for another person. And there has been a cycle of sickness. From one sickness to another sickness, it's been a cycle. If you are in this auditorium, come to me. You have been experiencing cycles of sickness for the past six months. You stepped on something which was not addressed to you. Picked up. For the past six months, you've been going through that cycle of sickness. If you are the one I'm talking about, please come. Now, why is it taking so long for... We need to do deliverance for that lady, please. So find out from him, what is the... Bro, go to pastor. Um, is it that the ushers have the lack capacity to to help? I say, "Ko bila mante ura ba kalai toko preski so 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 that one there, they've concluded the arrangement for her death. So we are here to reverse it. Uh, there is a way death looks like. When you see it, there's a way it looks. Now, can you just help me? Okay, thank you, thank you. Yes, you can drop her there. Uh -huh. Okay, so you put your hand on her. Yeah, yeah, pray, pray in the spirit. The, then that, that spirit will leave her. Just keep praying. Keep praying. Then. Pray in the spirit. We call you back from whence you went. From the place where you have been tied. Like a lamb led to the slaughter. We remove your bounds. Your fetters. Your chains. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Yes. Papa, we have a miracle here. 
We have a miracle. For 14 years, he has a spine condition. It's spine condition. Yes, and uh, the so reports. So what are all these things? These yeah. are the reports to confirm and the MRI is, to confirm. MRI to confirm Where do they that look condition. To? <laughs> they bring things like this. We don't know where to look. So, okay. before he came in here, yes. He now, please, a, please, 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 wait, Pastor. This lady, we need. To, she's still hanging. Up. Let's bring this girl down from the. Up. Yeah, she's still hanging. Ah. You know, when this dimension comes out, then it's more interesting. Can we just pray? Let's let's lose him. She's still hanging. Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Father. We still need, she needs to do declare some some things and break the tie that has entangled her. Yes, so due to so. the condition of the spine, he condition could not sit his... and rest his back. You could not sit and rest your back. So when he came in, he could Come. not. Come, let's try. And after the prayer, try with my seat. Yeah. And rest your back. All right, let him keep resting. Yeah. So this is the current report. This is the report. Even though we don't know where to to look, but uh, this is the report. Hallelujah. You don't feel the pain again? When I came, I couldn't use my back. When you came, you couldn't use your back? To, to, uh, on, to, on the seat, but... Yeah, but... He's good. The Lord has touched you. <laughs> Father, we give you glory. Give you glory. Give you glory. Give you glory. Oh, my God. There's a contention in your family. Pastor, let this man visit me at the lodge. I have to help him. Stand up. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, what happened there? So this is a case you mentioned. That ran away, she, that escaped. She had a motor accident, car accident, sorry, which affected... What's the difference between motor and car? <laughs> five, 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 five. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Motor, okay. It's car. So, it, it affected her left, um, left hand. She affected couldn't move your the left hand. hand. You couldn't move the hand. Try before she came in. She can move it now. Now she can move it. Oh my God! Somebody give Jesus a big hand. So, I want to know why you refuse to come, because this is supposed to be good news now. You were shy. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, what's the case of the charm? Yes. The uh, charm was not meant for him. Yes. It was addressed to somebody else. But. And that has resulted in many health issues. Okay, see now. So when we pray now. In three days, most of those health issues will be cancelled out. Okay? Um, can we now you see in the healing ministry? I don't know, or maybe this is not the time for it. Let's just 
Pray for him. Pray for him. Help me. Stretch your hands. be neutralized. Release grace from the crown of his head that the healing power of Jesus will take over his life. Will take over his life. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now so your miracle starts this night. First thing you will notice is your sleep will be so deep. Huh? Go, three days. So we have two years of back pain. Two years of back pain. Did you check it? After the prayer, the Father, pain is we, gone. We give you praise, we give you glory. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. So we have severe headache. Severe headache. She said before she came in, she asked a friend to get her some drugs. The friend refused. The friend refused. And then when she got in here, <laughs> after the prayer, the headache disappeared. Okay. Thank you, Father. Uh, so this one now is, I don't know anything about that. It's, the Lord is doing his work there. Now, can you do me a favor? Just talk, put your hand there, yeah? Pray, pray in the spirit. Just pray. Now, um, what I'm seeing in my spirit is someone in that direction. There's an empowerment coming upon that person in that direction. There's an empowerment. Father, help me find that person that you are showing me in that direction. Help me find the person you are showing me in that direction. Let your hand descend upon him or her. Help me find the person in that direction. In the name of Jesus. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. The Lord is coming. Help me find the person in that direction. No, you see, the Lord has not finished with this young man. Yes. So we have frequent swelling on the right leg. Frequent and she, swelling she believes on the right. that um, her case is a case that has to do with a charm. Okay. Yeah. On your right leg. For how long have you been expressing that? Since 2019. 19. Okay. Father, it was not addressed to you, this charm. You picked it up. 
Lord, I neutralize the power. I neutralize the power. I neutralize the power. In the name of Jesus. 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 So, so I saw you, um, sister. I saw you in the spirit. You see, there's a fire burning, burning from somebody's legs, and it's just increasing, just increasing. That's what I'm seeing. It's burning from from the legs, and it's increasing. 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 Ilamo mosika baite. Oh, there's someone. You are outside. You are outside. Your two hands. The Lord wants to put power in your hands. But you are outside right now. You are outside. And the fire will meet you outside in the next 17 seconds. In the next 17 seconds. In the next 17 seconds. There's, there's power that God is putting in your hands. In your hands. You are outside. You are outside. Lord, put power there. Now, this is what I'm hearing, but, it, but I cannot see it, but I'm hearing it. Someone came with your small son, and that your son that you came with has been telling you that he wants to be a pastor. If that boy is here, bring that boy to me. You came with your small son, and your son has been telling you he wants to be a pastor. I want to see that boy. I couldn't see it, so there was no way I would, I would know. Come and talk to pastor. Let's know the story of this, this young, because Jesus sent me to this boy. I'm seeing a new wave of grace on your ministry. Pastor Carl, there's a wave of grace. You've waited for it for long, but you begin to see it was the uh, last quarter of this. It's a wave of grace that it will, it will bring, it will call the attention of your city. It's a wave of grace. It's a wave of grace. It's a wave of grace. All right, let me finish with this so that we can pray the two prayer points. Yes. So, the son is here. is an is an adopted son. Oh, and he said the boy said he wants to be a pastor. He wants to be a pastor. Yes. Come. But currently he's even uh, playing the drums. He's playing the drums in church now. Yeah. Come. The Lord Jesus sent me to you. Kneel down. Kneel down. Yeah. Now, can we stretch our hands in his direction? Because from a tender age, the grace of God and the encounters of the Spirit will begin around his life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we represent the church in this territory. And we ask that you place your hand upon this young boy. Let him serve you only, only, all of his life. We dedicate him completely to you. Take over. Take over. Take over, take over, take over, take over, take over. Let him begin to have encounters, angelic encounters, strange things. Let him be a man of great faith in the labor of the gospel. Thank you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Papa, this boy has also been having encounters already in his dreams. 
come. The mother is here to confirm. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Let your hand come upon him. Come upon him. Let his spiritual senses be activated. Let his eyes in the spirit be open. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Yes, indeed. He will be. Just guide him. Guide him in that way. Yes, what happened to this lady? So this is a charm. She stepped on something and ever since she's been having some strange feelings in her leg. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise. We break the yoke. We break the yoke. We break the yoke. Let the yoke be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be broken. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand on her chest. Pray in the spirit. Now, let's do the, the last thing. It's a prayer. It will open up something. For those that can sense what will open up, enter 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 and you will see that in the next season that the Lord opens you will be in the forefront I, I speak in parables can we rise on our feet in a moment oh my God the Lord is willing there's something that will open up in the next five minutes when it opens you enter when it opens you enter we we'll begin by speaking in the Holy Ghost, by speaking in the Spirit, 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 by speaking in the Spirit. Eso se la itomo, manteku se la bakatala, ebrakande babosike, eso se la branta baboria. Mande curia basil, para casanta babonde, regis compano, mahai sele, mahai sele, mahai sele, mahai sele, mahai sele, mahai sele, pila sele, ya casele, ya lima sele, ya lima sele, ya lima sele, ya lima sele, ruka masele.
Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.